Baseball, America's pastime, an ingrained part of our culture enjoyed by millions every summer. Baseball has given us highs and lows, heroes and villains, legendary moments that we'll never forget. Baseball is revered as a sport that brings people of all faiths, creeds, and races together. But that wasn't always the case. In the late 1800s and into the 1900s, a racism-fueled color barrier existed in baseball, preventing African-American players from being part of Major League Baseball teams, forcing them to organize teams and leagues comprising of other Negro players and some Latin American players as well. 100 years ago this year, in February of 1920, Rube Foster, a former star pitcher, manager, and owner across multiple Negro teams, was able to put all the players and pieces together to form the first African-American Major League, the Negro National League, and the accompanying National Association of Colored Professional Baseball Clubs. Over the next 30 years, the Negro Leagues took on many shapes and sizes. Teams came and went. Some form of a Negro World Series was played 11 times. Stats and records for most of these leagues were lost or only ever partially recovered. In the mid-1940s, a small segment of Major League Baseball's hierarchy worked to integrate black players into what they perceived was the world's best baseball league. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking the color barrier and paving the way for every future African-American player to play Major League Baseball. Because of this, every year on April 15th, MLB honors Jackie Robinson by having each and every player wear his number 42 in memory of the challenges and prejudices he overcame and the continued battle against them today. And it's in the name of baseball history and the story of African American baseball that we are very proud to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues by bringing to you our Perfect Team 21 Negro League Collection. What is up, everybody? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball. And it's true. It's here. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is episode number 68, and our content theme is the 100th anniversary Negro League collection. You guys have no idea. Yes, cards are live. Cards are live. Now, here's the thing. So I want to explain something real quick before we get going. I did put a tweet out earlier today of Ichiro, the back of Ichiro, saying the reason why we use Ichiro in the leak is because, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be unveiling 51 negro league cards tonight i told you guys it was going to be the biggest and best content set we've ever done i meant it when i said it over the next 60 to 90 minutes however long it takes me to go through all this you guys are going to see the, the our heart and soul that we've put into this set we are so so proud of the set of the video of the graphics, of everything we've put into it. We hope you guys are going to love this set. For those of you who didn't play Perfect Team 20, um, we had a 26-card Negro League set. There was 25. We added Buck O'Neill later. All 26 of those cards are back. They are re-rated for Perfect Team 21. So we're going to go through those first. The 26 cards from perfect team 20 we're going to reveal first and then we're going to reveal 25 brand new negro league legend cards 
We've got all kinds of good stuff. That's not all. There's more. There's a collection we're going to talk about. We've got big news at the end of the stream as well. Guys, we have so many huge things to talk about tonight. I can't keep up with the chat. You guys are, are out of control, which I love. I'm so glad you guys are here. I am so excited. I am so extremely, extremely excited to go through this. Um, I've said on the record a hundred times, my favorite content set of Perfect Team 20 was the Negro League set. This set trumps that a hundred times over. It's not close. If you thought the Negro League set was good in Perfect Team 20, message me after the stream and tell me how much better this one is because trust me it is extremely extremely better uh big news related to the dream bracket no but let's talk about the dream bracket guys uh the dream bracket have you guys seen this mlb presents the dream bracket it's also presented by DraftKings, powered by out of the park baseball 21 exclamation point dream bracket in the chat you can find the link it's mlb.com slash dream dash bracket i think dream bracket works as well guys this is going to be a lot of fun um basically they have built a 32 team tournament with all 30 major league rosters dream team a negro league team and an under 25 team they're going to be um showing them on mlb network they're going to be streaming them on their twitch channel um you can there's a free um pools you can enter on DraftKings. All the information is available at MLB.com um, slash Dream Bracket. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Again, we're really looking forward to it. Powered by Out of the Park Baseball. We are extremely honored and proud to be part of the Dream Bracket. Uh, it is a, a, a absolute dream come true for us um, to, be, to be part of this and part of this stage and trying to determine which uh, Major League franchise has the best all-time Dream roster. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun going to be a lot of fun so make sure you guys check it out uh it kicks off on april 20th um the first round matchups kick off on april 20th um it's gonna be fun uh and the best part is guys um we're going to be releasing this as a quick start um eventually i don't have a date or anything uh but we're going to be releasing the 32 team rosters and the setup as a quick start that you'll be able to download and you'll be able to play it on your own uh, as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know when that's going to be, so don't. I'm not putting a date on it. I know we're going to do it. It's in the plans. Uh, but because this is a partnership between us and DraftKings and MLB, we're going to have to work that stuff out and make sure that we do it at a time that's going to be, uh, you know, that we're not interfering with the tournament and things like that. But we do plan to release a quick start so you'll be able to download it, use these rosters. Uh, going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be sick. Go Blue Jays obviously uh now with that said let's get in and start with the negro league 100th anniversary collection and start with the players from perfect team 20 and let's start with 74 overall andy cooper again these first 26 cards are all cards that were in perfect team 20 they are completely re-rated and re-added to perfect team 21 with that stellar new card art very similar to last year but recolored oh my god again daniel our big up we'll give a horn give daniel some horns um daniel doing a great job on the art 74 overall andy cooper 64 stuff 61 movement 80 control fastball curveball slider change up uh, can has a bit of an eye and some contact as well. Again, a lot of the players in the Negro League days were were two way players. Uh, so again, you're going to see uh, some good hitting stats with some of these pitchers as well. 74 Andy Cooper is in the game. Let's keep trucking now with the guy who was the collection reward last year has a regular card this year, and that is Buck O'Neill, 77 silver Buck O'Neill, 69. Uh, contact 70 gap power 48 power uh, 75 i 64 avoid k's 34 steel uh, as well plays a very good familiarity at first base pretty solid um pretty solid ratings got to change it up one can empty next can 
Negro League can hit, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. So 77 overall, first baseman, Buck O'Neill. Ban the Tebow Trolls? Nah, never. It's, it's a running joke at this point. People just do it to assume that I'm going to put a put a Tebow in the game at some point. It's more or less, it's not even trolling at this point. It's just an inside joke. that uh, The Tebow thing is an inside joke that comes back all the way back to last year. All right, let's keep on trucking with 77 starting pitcher Ray Brown. 95 stuff, 44 moving, 52 control. So he's got good stuff. Fastball, curveball, changeup. He's got two plus pitches to use in the bullpen. But you look up here, can play a little bit of the corner outfield as well. 50 contact. Again, silver tournament, cap tournament. Guy who can maybe pitch a few innings out of the bullpen and might be able to get you a base hit. Yeah, 17 movement against righties. I got to look into that. That might be a glitch. We'll see, though. It might not be. I got the file this morning, so we'll, I, I could definitely uh, I can definitely look into it. Uh, let me make a note. I've got all the players running on it over here. So, Not going to lie, guys. I literally finished putting this show together like 35 minutes ago, so I didn't have time to go through and double-check them all, but I will check that one. That is uh, Ray Brown. Ray Brown movement. We'll check that one out. We'll check that one out for sure. But again, a little bit of hitting as well, which would be kind of cool. Be kind of cool. Uh, well, if it's a typo in the right-handed pitching, it would affect his movement as well. Because the the main one is an average, like not an average, but it is an average of the other two. So it could be it could be an error for sure. But I, I made a note, guys. We'll check into that one. So 77 Silver Ray Brown is back again. Judy Johnson is back as well. Third baseman man in the hot corner, 72 contact, 62 gap power, 29 power, 43 I, 65 avoid Ks. Uh, and look at that defense at third base, uh, 98 familiarity over there, 93 range, 82 air, 95 arm, very, very solid defensive third baseman, which is great. Uh, you know, again, you're going to get a little bit of bad as well in those silver tournaments, good contact, decent gap power, avoid K's up in the sixties, not the worst, got a little bit of catcher eligibility in there. You guys will have to find one of these and, uh, get the catcher, um, get the catcher, the deep catcher ratings in there. So 78 Judy Johnson in the game. Next up, we're into the golds. Now we're back with Sammy Hughes. At the uh, the Keystone, second base, Sammy Hughes, 71 contacts, 77 gap power, 24 overall power, 57 I, 53 avoid case, and again, very good defensively at second base with the 92 rating, 82 range, 75 air, 68 arm, and 83 turn double plays. Again, a very nice card. Still a very low cap number, so if you're in a gold and under cap tournament you can get some good defense at second base a little bit of contact and only give up 80 so not bad not bad not bad pretty solid again a little bit better against lefties with the 77 contact and the 87 gap so you might want to platoon them might want to use them as a late inning defensive substitution as well again guys remember these first batch of cards are all players that were in perfect team 20 that we've re-rated and re-released for perfect team 21 we do have 25 if you're just joining we have 25 brand new Negro League cards that we're going to unveil in the second half of the stream as well that have never been in uh, Perfect Team at any point in a Negro League version. It's going to be a – there's some – listen, stick around. You're, you're, you're got, you got to stick around. You have to. Hmm. Next up, we've got right-handed pitcher Hilton Smith. Um, 63 stuff, 71 movement, 95 control, fastball, curveball, slider, forkball combination. Again, very, very high control. Hilton Smith was a low gold uh, darling last year. A lot of people loved using him in tournaments. Again, when you get into those uh, lower 
cap tournaments, control can be huge. If you can, if you can not walk people, keep the pitch count down and get through more innings and avoid the bullpen fatigue, that can be huge, huge, huge in tournaments. Um, so a lot of people are going to be all over. I believe he was a Smith or a silver. Was he a silver last year? He might have been a high silver. I think he was a 78 or a 79 maybe last year. He was a high silver for sure, if he was a silver, if I remember correctly. Um, but again, a very nice card, very high control. Again, for a gold and below, he's going to keep the cap number down as well. Uh, very, very, very nice card. Let's keep it on moving. And Bill Foster, big left-handed pitcher, Bill Foster. 82 stuff, 68 movement, 60 control with a fastball changeup, splitter combination, 103 stamina, a little bit of right field action as well, 39 contact, 49 eye, and 99. Here comes the exclamation point bunts. Oh, baby. You guys know my never-ending love for the bunt. I'm going to make a change to something over here real quick because I saw something scroll by in the chat. Somebody gave me a great idea. Great idea. Great idea for sure. So 82, Hilton Smith is in the game. Let's keep on moving now. That was, oh, because I typed a number over there. Gotcha. So Bill Foster, 85 overall, Bill Foster in the game as well. Next up, we've got Pete Hill. Everybody loves Pete Hill. 85 gold in center field. 76 contact, 65 gap power, 34 power, 69 I, 63 avoid Ks. Uh, some very, very solid left field, center field familiarity. 91 range, 67 error, 77 arm. If I move my bulbous head out of the way, you can see it right there. Arm, 77, arm. With my arm, 77. You see the symmetry of me doing this chat. So there you have it. 85 Pete Hill. Jumping in in center field. There's Rube Foster. If you caught the intro at the beginning of the stream, one of the key principals responsible for the first Negro Major League that kicked off 100 years ago this year. 71 stuff, 77 movement, 66 control, four pitch mix with the fastball, curveball, slider change up, 100 stamina. You can see, can handle the stick a little bit too. 55 contact. 55 contact. See, you got to love, you got to love, again, you get into those no DH tournaments. Rube Foster can be a guy, you know, he's going to hit, hit a little bit as well. Not the worst, not the worst. Not the worst. Again, you get a little bit of contact in there. So, Rube Foster. 86 overall stamina, or 86 overall gold. I'm looking at the chat. Somebody types stamina. I just, I'm like, I'm like uh, Ron Burgundy. I look at the teleprompter and I just say what's on there. 86 overall FIP. 86 overall gold. Rube Foster is back, and also back John Donaldson. Left-handed starter John Donaldson. 65 stuff. 74 movement. Uh, that's fine. That's the good, bad of the cards being in the game. Uh, the cards being in the game when it starts. Sometimes people pull things before. It is what it is. People, people have, you know what? It's, it's, here's the thing. It's one of two things. It's either, it's either I don't put the cards in when the stream starts and you guys have to wait. Or I risk people pulling them and posting them in the Discord channel, which is fine. That doesn't bother me. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Donaldson's got 102 stamina with the three-pitch mix. 61 contact as well. Could play a little center field. Could play a little first base. Uh, yeah, any of the guys who were in PT20 will be back somewhere in this first half of the stream. Um, and then we got all the new ones coming, uh, coming up. So, again, Donaldson checks in at an 87. Also at an 87 was one of the two catchers that we had in last year's set. Uh, Biz Mackey, uh, 68 contact, 70 gap power, eight, 68 power. One of the higher powers we've seen so far. 
43 I, 51 avoid K. He's got a little 60 speed, a little bit of speed with your catcher. Great defense as well. The arm could be a little better, but again, great defense back there. Not going to have a whole lot of pass balls. 97 ability, uh, 60 speed. Again, a nice, well-rounded, um, a nice, well-rounded uh, catcher for sure. Nice. Oh, emergency shortstop. Can't forget the emergency shortstop chat. Let's keep on rolling now with 88 overall starter Leon Day, who I had to squeeze his thing because he's got six pitches, 98 stuff, 59 movement, 64 control, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, splitter, forkball, 95 stamina. <laughs> you can see second base, left field, center field, right field, 58 contact, 49 eye, 56 sacrifice bunt, 95 stamina. Is there anything Leon Day can't do? I guess he can't catch. I guess. But the only thing Leon Day can't do. You Darvish learned to pitch from Leon Day. Probably could confirm that at this point. Could he make a good waffle? I bet. Maybe. Hard to say. So 88 gold checking in. Leon Day is back as well. Let's get into the diamond cards now. And Smokey Joe Williams, one of the higher-end starters that we had last year, coming in at a 90 diamond this year, 94 stuff, 73 movement, 60 control, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, 100 stamina, a little bit of first base, like a lot of the other pitchers as well, a little bit of contact and handle the bat. That's kind of the theme, chat. Back in those days, guys just didn't pitch. In the Negro Leagues, you were a pitcher, you were a position player, on your other days. So the common theme across all of these pitchers is going to be they can handle the bat a little bit as well for the most part. Maybe some of the later guys, some of the, the some of the mid 40s guys, you know, they maybe didn't hit a whole lot but still very very uh capable hitters some of these guys by comparison to some of the pitchers of today. Um so Smokey Joe Williams is our first diamond checking in at a 90. Next up one of our other favorite starters from last year, and a man who literally can do everything. This is one of my favorite cards in the set this year. Bullet Joe Rogan. 111 stuff, 78 movement, 66 control, fastball, slider, changeup, second base, left field, center field, right field, 62 contact, 83 power, 99 sacrifice, but again, what can't? What can't Bullet Joe Rogan do? Really, <laughs> again a very again a very intricate intricate card here with a lot of moving parts. Can play the outfield. Can handle the bat. I mean, again, sixty-two contact, eighty-three power. Crazy. He's going to be a beast in the bullpen too. You're going to get a stamina bump probably up to the. I would say your stamina bump's going to be pushing 120 in the bullpen. And again, with the 62 stamina, you could probably use him as a long man. Stopper, perhaps, if you, if you need to fill that role on your team. Whew. Crazy. Crazy. Are you telling me to take a chill pill? Four mice, listen, this is my show. I will get as hype as I want to be. If you don't like it, that's your problem. As long as I am the host of this show, I will get as excited as I want to be. And if you don't like it, nothing I can do about that, man. I love I love this stuff. I I live I live for this stuff. This is this is this this is this is my definition of fun. Let's keep on going through the cards here. Mule Subtles, another great card from last year that people loved. Very versatile outfielder can play a little bit of first base as well. Although the first base defensive ratings are eh, maybe not the best. Um, eighty four contact. 82 gap power, 117 power overall. Again, some of these 
Um, some of these Negro League cards are going to benefit from the increased power cap as well this year. Um, you can see he's got the 126 power against lefties, 58 I, 50 avoid Ks. Uh, his outfield ratings, I, I tried to fit them on the card, but it didn't really work. But his outfield ratings, you're going to want to play him in the outfield, basically. You're going to want to play him in the outfield uh, for sure. You, I mean, you could probably stick him at designated hitter as well, at which you can literally stick anybody a designated hitter, I suppose. Bullet Joe Rogan, perhaps, on his off days. But Mule Suttles, again, was a very, very fun, popular card last year. Yeah, he goes like three slides just to fit everything on it. Stay tuned. So Mule Suttles is back with the 91. Ray Dandridge, I've seen somebody asking about Ray Dandridge earlier. Here he is, man in the hot corner, 87 contact, 67 gap power, 59 power, 82 avoid case. Very balanced against lefties and righties. Uh, 104 defense at third base, 97 range, 80 errors, 96 arm. Woo, baby. An absolute stud at the hot corner. Oh, my. Absolute crazy defensive third baseman here with uh, with Mr. Dandridge. I know I've seen a few people asking in the chat. Um, a few people asking about Dandridge. Like I said, any of the guys who were in PT20 will be in here in this first half. You just got to stay patient and stay tuned. Uh, we'll be able to get... Uh, We'll be able to get through all of them. We still have uh, probably half a dozen or more to go. I'm not really keeping count, sadly. I maybe should be keeping count, but I haven't been so far. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Next up, we've got Willie Wells. Everybody loved Willie Wells. Willie Wells was my one of my, probably the Negro League card I used the most. Outside of DeHigo, I uh, bet you could build an entire team with this collection. There's 51 cards. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> um, I used Willie Wells for a long time at shortstop. He was my shortstop for probably 25 seasons. Um, again, the defense defense at shortstop is absolutely key. Uh, his arm plays well at third base as well. He's got a little bit of speed with the 70 speed. Uh, he's got pretty good contact numbers, pretty good avoid Ks. Uh, again, he was, and I was just going to say that web docs, he was extremely underrated. Don't look at the fact he's a 93. You look at the fact that he can hit for contact. He can hit for gap power. He doesn't strike out. He can run. And his defense is absolutely amazing. Makes Willie Wells very much so in the conversation for end game, uh, short stoppery at this given point. He just, again, the, you can't, you can't. You can't credit the defense at shortstop enough. Uh, he's really, really, really just that good. Uh, he should train to 832 at second base. That sounds about right, maybe. Uh, but he will train up really nice at third base as well. So 93 Willie Wells is back. Cool Papa Bell, you want to talk about? I'm not even going to look at the chat because I just know it's going to be a wall of OMGs. Does, do I need to explain anything about this card at this point? Eighty-three contact, sixty-eight gap power, fifty power, sixty-two I, eighty avoid Ks, one hundred and twenty speed, and elite defense in the outfield. I made a short list. I made a short list of cards that I wanted out of this set. Cool Papa Bell is like in the top five. I mean, it's that good of a set that Cool Papa Bell is, you know, not one, two, or three, but he's in the top five. This is an amazing card. Um, an amazing, amazing card. Uh, elite defense, elite speed, elite contact, and elite not striking out. Uh, is going to make this card an absolute must-have. Speaking of cards that are absolute must-have, I know you guys have been waiting for this one. Martin DeHigo in the building, ladies and gentlemen. 84 contact, 67 gap power, 108 power, 57 eye, 
54 avoid Ks. He can run. He can play every position on the diamond, first, second, third, short, left, center, right, and do them all very, very well. He can catch. The Higo can catch. Stick him behind the plate. It'll work out. For sure. Martin DeHigo, again, was probably one of the cult classic favorite cards from the Negro League set last year because of what you see up here. The fact that he could play every position, do it well. Um, and this year, again, he could hit better. Um, we've really, really put a lot more, not, I wouldn't say a lot more effort. We've really refined the ratings for the Negro League cards a little bit this year um, and really just, you know, tried to make them maybe more reflective within themselves. And, that, and that's why you're seeing a guy like DeHigo, who was an 89 gold, a fringe diamond last year, now bumped up to a 95, better hitting. Um, and again, you know, the, the defense, every position is absolutely crazy. Uh, and guys, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have seven more last year cards to go, and we're at 95. Cristobal Torriente was another favorite last year as well. And again, a guy that can do a lot of things very well. 104 contact, 96 gap power, 55 power, 64 I, 67 avoid Ks, 73 speed as well. So he can run a little bit. He's got the defense. Defense pretty good. Again, not super elite, but enough to get by for sure. With the 79, 80, and 70 ratings in the three outfield positions, 86 range, 74 error, and 72 outfield arm, um, which is absolutely insane. Again, a very, very good. And again, I see I see a lot of people as I go through. I, I'm glancing at the chat. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay on focus. I know there's a lot of people here, but I'm looking at the chat, and I'm seeing a lot of people with every card comes up and say, oh, man, that was my favorite. That was my favorite. I love seeing that. I love that everybody was able to pick a different card out of the set that they loved, um, that they loved. You know, it's a lot of people loved Gibson and Torriente and DeHigo and Papa Bell and, um, you know, any of the other guys, the guys we haven't revealed yet. Oscar Charleston, who's coming up here in a few slides, was one of my favorites last year. Oscar Charleston still on my Perfect Team 20 roster now. Um, just one of those guys that, you know, that, um, yeah, like everyone was able to find some people in the set. That's what made it super cool. So Torriente, uh, checking in at a 95. Next up, Buck Leonard, another guy that I got some run out of last year. Uh, big power hitting first baseman, 96 contact, 94 gap power. Um, 109 power overall again. You look at the right-handed heavy splits, which is nice to see. A lot of the other Negro Leaguers kind of trend towards the lefty split, but the righty split, very strong in this one with 18 higher contact uh, and 24 higher power against righties as well. No, average speed, average defense at first. Again, Buck Leonard was one of those guys, uh, especially in the mid-tier levels last year. People really got some good run. Uh, out of buck does strike out a little bit more than your average uh, high end first baseman, but again, uh, very very nice car. We've got Pop Lloyd. Pop Lloyd is back again this year as a ninety eight diamond, uh, ninety nine contact, eighty four gap power, thirty six power, sixty one eye, uh, eighty one avoid K's. Um, Uh, you can see 93 speed as well. Uh, and then obviously the multiple defensive eligibility, first base, second base, third base, shortstop, a little bit outfield, very, very high defensive ratings. Look at that 116 at short, uh, 108 range, 94 error, 90 arm, 98 turn double play. Uh, very, very nice king hitter in MLB the show. I get that reference, Manny. I know who that is. surprisingly see that reference isn't lost on me great great i love i love fictional roster sets please do not spoil car yeah guys listen if you guys are pulling them and or people are posting them in the discord please please do not spoil them in the chat 
Dishnet, if anybody's spoiling any cards, can you uh, time them out? Just like time them out, like not for any amount of time, just so that it wipes the wipes the message. Please and thank you. Oh yeah, Spore has uh, mod privileges as well. Not that I don't want you guys talking about them, but just for the people, there's a lot of people who are here um, just that don't want them spoiled. So please, if you are pulling them, uh, if you are pulling them, please, please don't spoil them in the chat. Um, just for the people that are here, because there's a, we have a lot of cards to go. We still have four left from last year, and then we have 25 more new ones. Um, so yeah. I know people are pulling them in the Discord. I have it over here. I'm watching. I've seen which ones have been pulled. Um, so we will, uh, yeah. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's finish out Turkey Sterns. People love Turkey Sterns. 95 contact, 87 gap power, 121 power. Uh, we're probably not going to go two hours, Wheezy. We'll go until it's done, and then Rich is going to hop on right after. I'm hoping to be an hour to 75 minutes, tops. But we might end into 90 minutes. Uh, he's got the right hand heavy 130 against, oh, 130 power against righties. Uh, very good left field defense as well. 71 range, 99 arm. He's got a cannon. He could hit a ton and he could throw a ton. An absolute cannon for an arm and an absolute crazy bat, especially against righties. Turkey Stearns is back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in last year's set, we only had one. We only had one perfect card uh, in last year's set. This year, in the of the PT twenty holdovers, we have three. Now, I don't know if anyone's been keeping track of the three cards that we're missing, but hey, let's go take a look first at one of my favorite players from last year's set, Oscar Charleston. 109 contact, 84 gap power, 104 power overall. Again, with the right-hand heavy splits, 97 speed, uh, 88 stealing, 100 base running, uh, 117 defense in center field, um, 105 outfield range, 82 air, 107 outfield arm uh that's a good question simple i don't i can't remember what the wording is i think they show up with something there um yeah they i i i, I could look it up in the auction house after if you look them up some people have said they're on the auction house already um so no spoilers but if you want to go look for them uh you'll be able to see what the tag comes up as which would be similar to what comes up uh, when you open them without the 3D. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought there was something in there. Um, So Oscar Charleston, again, still my center fielder in Perfect Team 20. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable card. Uh, love this one. We also have... Uh, I'm putting the horn up for this one. The biggest... The biggest... Lip I took about last year's Negro League set was that Page was a 90. I heard it all year. I heard it yesterday that Page was a 90. Well, Satchel Page in Perfect Team 21 is a 100 with 144 stuff, 86 movement, 82 control, fastball, curveball, changeup, forkball, screwball, 70 stamina. Again, a lot of people, the, the biggest point of contention with last year's set was that we did Satchel Page dirty. Well, I hope for those of you who felt that way, that we have redeemed yourself. We redeemed ourselves in your eyes by not doing Satchel Page dirty in Perfect Team 21. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yes. Get him in, putting the respect on Satchel's name. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, there is one more perfect team 20 holdover for the Negro League set. He was the headliner 
of last year's collection. He is the headliner of the first half of this year's collection. There are not many people who go through their baseball career being compared to Babe Ruth. But for this man, he lived a life where because he, of the color of his skin, people compared him to the Babe Ruth that could never play in Major League Baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you 100 perfect Josh Gibson, the man who was known as the Black Babe Ruth. Everyone just fawned over this card last year. 109 contact, 75 gap power, 134 power with a 144 power against lefties, 62I, 55 to avoid Ks. Very solid defense behind the plate as well. Um, 87 familiarity with 72 ability, 79 catcher arm, which is absolutely, absolutely crazy. Um, I tell you. The, so, again, just so you guys remember, for those of you who might just be tuning in, these are all the guys that were in the game last year. Uh, we did Pop Lloyd. Pop Lloyd was, uh, we did him. Pop Lloyd was b- after Buck Leonard, before Turkey Stearns. Uh, like five cards ago, Sapimi. He was in there. Pop Lloyd was in there. He was like five cards ago. Uh, So what we're going to do is before we get into the 25 brand new guys, because we have 25 brand new guys as well, just saying, Um, we're going to give away some perfect points. Now, tonight, we're still going to give away three prizes, but I had said earlier in the chat that they were going to be 30,000 prizes, but you know what? That was a lie. I saw somebody mention something that was a really good idea earlier. So tonight we're going to give away three prizes of 42,000 perfect points apiece in honor of Mr. Robinson and his accomplishments, breaking the color barrier, uh, as we said in the video at the beginning of the stream, paving the way for every African-American player who came after him to play Major League Baseball. Exclamation point ticket. In the chat, we'll draw it in a little bit. But now, while you guys are doing that, let's get started on the new round of cards. Starting with second baseman Bingo Damas. 63 contact, 50 gap power, 17 power overall, uh, 65 I, 87 avoid case, 82 speed. So again, this is a great, for a 70 silver chat, for a 70 silver, 63 contact. 87 avoid Ks, defense, speed. This might be, I will go out on a limb and say this right now, this might be the the best 70 overall card we've ever had. I can't think, uh, I can't think of anybody who is a better 70. Uh, Yes, Greggy, you do need to be here to find out if you win. Uh, You could watch the archive after. If you watch it on YouTube tomorrow, and holler at me. That's fine, too. We're going to draw it in about uh, eight minutes. This, Yeah, this might be the best 70 I've ever seen. Guys, you can only enter the giveaway once, guys. If the exclamation point ticket, if you put it in once, you're in the draw. You can only enter once. Please do not spam it repeatedly. If you spam it repeatedly, you will be timed out, and your ticket entry will be removed. Please do not tie up the chat. Uh, it did work the first time. It, the bot doesn't always return it when people are spamming it. I say that every single week. Just because the bot didn't tell you you're in, there's 183 people in the draw right now. The bot just doesn't ping every single time. It has an automatic spam protection. The bot has a spam filter. It'll only return so many. 
and then it just kind of stops. Like I said, I, there's 184 people in it. I don't know how many people are here, but I have to assume that's pretty much everybody. <laughs> but yeah, just because it didn't give you confirmation, if you typed it in, you're in. Trust me. So 70 Bingo Damas in the game. 266, what? Crazy, you guys are crazy. Next up, Quincy Troop. Adding to the catcher, adding to the catcher uh, pool for the Negro Leaguers as well. 60 contact, 72 gap power, 36 power, 60 I, 73 avoid Ks. Got a little bit of defense as well. Again, a very solvent, solid, solvent, very solvent. Uh, very solid silver as well, especially at the uh, at the low silver range. Next up, we have Chet Brewer, right-handed pitcher, 82 stuff, 55 movement, 49 control, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, splitter, 71 stamina, can hit a little bit as well. Again, not one particular thing that jumps out off the page. Maybe the stuff for a guy who's rated 71 overall. Um. But pretty solid card. Again, five-pitch mix is nice. Uh, all really good pitches as well, which is good. Um, could maybe use a little more on the stamina side. But again, so you might want to consider maybe putting them in a bullpen if you're, uh, if you're you know, so inclined. But 71 overall, Chet Brewer in the game. Dave Brown is next, 71 overall. 61 stuff, 61 moving, 60 control. The epitome of balance, my friends. Uh, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, 85 stamina. Again, pretty pretty balanced card for a low silver. We welcome Dave Brown to the Negro League collection. Uh, you guys have you guys have uh, two minutes left to enter the draw. If you haven't already, uh, exclamation point ticket in the chat. Uh, Nicolino, yes, that's later. Like, not later, later, like later tonight. You'll see. Uh, yeah, a couple minutes left to get x Mace point ticket, guys. 42,000 perfect points times three up for grabs. Next up, we've got Oliver Marcel, a multi-talented infielder, 57 contact, 67 gap power, 41 power, 52 eye, 59 avoid Ks. Uh, can play pretty solid defense as well. He's got second, third, and short experience. Uh, his arm might play a little better at second, I think. I think second would probably be the place um, for sure where you'd want to put him. Um, so definitely, definitely, you know, definitely another usable, another usable guy for sure. Oliver Marcel, welcome to the show we also have willard brown again a this is another very very interesting silver 78 contact 94 gap power 66 power overall 78 avoid k's um <laughs> 83 speed as well so you get very good speed can play shortstop can play right field probably better suited for right field he doesn't really have the arm for short um Probably doesn't really have the iron for short, but again, a very good bat, good avoid case, good speed. Again, a very, very solid card. Also, guys, this is the first time we've ever had the giveaway uh, be over 200 people, which is insane. Thank you guys so much for supporting the stream. We've never had over 200 people uh, in the giveaway until tonight. So uh, I was talking to the dev team the other day, two weeks ago, April 2nd, we set a viewership record for this week at Perfect Team, which we broke last week, and we broke again tonight uh, based on what you guys are saying in the chat. So thank you guys so much for supporting the stream. Uh, so Willard Brown is in the game as a 75 silver. We'll do one more, then we're going to draw. Double Duty Radcliffe. This is my, another one of my favorite cards, chat. Double Duty Radcliffe is a pitcher and a catcher. My favorite, literally, literally my minor, my, my minor baseball self is like, yes, he pitches and he catches. 
66 stuff, 60 movement, 60 control, fastball, slider, changeup, splitter, forkball, 100 stamina, 53 contact, 50 eye, 72 sack bunt, and literally pitches and catches, which is great. Guys, you have 20 seconds, exclamation point ticket in the next 20 seconds if you want in, 42,000 perfect points up for grab. You can't win if you ain't in. Can't win. No S at the end, BDK, uh, BDBK, just exclamation point ticket. You got five, four, three, two, one. The giveaway is closed. The giveaway is closed. Oh, excuse me. I burp. My apologies. Oh. Gus Skyman getting in there right at the last second. Uh, okay, chat, so here it is. If you win, if you're new to the stream, a lot of new people here tonight. How it works if you win, whisper us right here on O2B Development's Twitch channel or DM me in the Discord. I'm in the upper right-hand corner, Chris, Community and Content Dev. I need your username in the proper capitalization and your team name for confirmation. Congratulations to our three winners. Come on, bot. Bot. Hello? McDavid! Oh my geez, it is some slow today. Mac Jacks! And Breedav00! Zero zero. Congratulations, McDavid, Mac Jacks, and Breedav00. Zero zero. Oh my geez, it's thrown four winners! Stop it! Why is it getting four winners? Awful. Congratulations, McDavid, Breedav, Mac Jacks. You guys have won 42,000 perfect points apiece. Hit me up. Either I can't tell you who's fourth. I'll DM them after. <laughs> you can only see two. It was Breedav, McDavid, and Mac Jacks. It should have showed all three. Let me see. Let me make sure. Oh, it didn't put the Mac Jacks one in there. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll tag him. So he knows I've got it here. He, there he is. There's the guy who won uh, the middle one. Yeah. The middle one didn't show up. So just for clarity chat, I will screenshot it. So just so there's no shenanigans, you guys know, I'm not a fan of shenanigans, right? Add image. Image, browse, desktop, capture. Okay, just so you guys see, there's no shenanigans. There's the winners of tonight's giveaways. There's the winners of tonight's giveaways, chat. I'm sorry, the, the bot is like, man, there's so many people here, I don't know what to do. Um, so there you go, chat. Those three guys are your winners tonight. Make sure you guys holler at me either here in the whispers or on the Discord. I'm not going to say who the, the who the bot wanted to pick fourth, but the guy, trust me, the guy whose name did come up fourth, he doesn't need the points. Trust me. <laughs> uh, shenanigans. No, it wasn't Dish Net. All right, let's keep on with the cards, guys. Double Duty Radcliffe, one of my faves. We got a lot to go. We got a lot to get through here. Saul White. Saul White is brand new this year. Again, another great defensive player. 63 contact, 62 gap power, uh, 38 power overall, 54, uh, I 54 avoid case, 70 speed, 90 stealing, 89 base running, 84 sack bunt, not 89 defense at second base. Um, and, uh, pretty good defensive range get probably a second baseman for sure. Probably second baseman for sure. Uh, again, with the arm. Arm a little low, 65. Probably not going to play at short with that arm in the long term. Uh, but again, a really nice card. Again, at a 76 silver. Does a lot of things well. Let's keep on moving here with Cannonball Jackman. Right-handed starter, Cannonball Jackman. 
uh, 58 stuff, 54 movement, 87 control, fastball slider, change up, fork ball, 96 stamina. Another great name. That's one of my favorite parts of the Negro League sets is some of the names, like we looked them up and I'm like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh, Tim told me fan. It was uh, McDavid, Mac Jackson, Breedav, zero, zero. Uh, are the three guys who won the giveaway. So Cannonball Jackman is in there. Uh, where are we going next? I think we're into the silvers. Last silver. Another catcher joins the fray, Chad. Bruce Petway, and again, another catcher who can run. 84 speed, great defense with a 96 arm behind the plate, 82 avoid Ks as well. Again, a really, really, um, really, really interesting card uh, with the avoid Ks, the high speed. And the good catcher defense, 67 contacts, not bad as well. Obviously, a little right hand heavy on the old, um, the old splits for sure. Uh, but again, a very is he the fastest new catcher? Uh, how fast was um? He might be the fastest right now. I think so. I think so. Next up, we have Nip Winters. 75 stuff, 69 movement, 46 control. Fastball, curveball, changeup, forkball combination. 100 stamina. Another great silver addition to the Negro League collections. Chat, we're like, what, 35 cards into this now? I'm like, I need like my second wind, chat. Like, I need like my third fourth and eighth wind to kick in because we've got a lot of we've got a lot of hot fire still in the can nip winners in the game let's move on now to the gold category and judd wilson over at the hot corner 76 contact 86 gap power uh 52 power overall 52 eyes 72 avoid case 91 speed another multi-positional talent as well First base, second base, third base, shortstop. Uh, with nah, listen, I have didn't use up my energy earlier. I can I can control this at a high pace for multiple hours. You guys have you guys have seen this. You guys know there is no end to the hype in sight at all. First base, second base, third base, shortstop, left field, eighty-eight arm in the infield as well. A lot of a very interesting card here. Judd Wilson in the game. Next up, we've got Dick Redding. Again, another another higher stuff guy. 83 stuff. Uh, 58 movement, 61 control. Long distance streamer? No. <laughs> You've ever seen me do a 24-hour? It's literally the worst content in the history of mankind. Mostly because I can't go more than four hours. They're eating. So I have to, like, take a long break. Fastball, curveball, changeup, forkball, 100 stamina. Got the sack bunt as well. Now we've got Dick Lundy hanging out at shortstop. 66 contact, 57 gap power, 72 power, 60 I, 54 avoid Ks, 60 speed, 85 stealing, 98 base running. Pretty solid ratings. You're probably going to want to move him to second. I would say you want to move it. Probably want to move him over to second base. Again, that 76 arm. Probably not going to hang at shortstop for very long. Uh, where are we? Dick Lundy. Just trying to see where we are, chat. All right. Let's keep the train rolling. We're almost into the diamond realm. Slim Jones. Left-handed starting pitcher. Slim Jones. 78 stuff. 54 movement, 91 control, fastball, slider, change up, uh, fork ball with 105 stamina. There's the high control, high stamina for sure. With the 70 defensive range, 57 power, a little power, a little power as well. <laughs> you know, get him in there in those non-DH tournaments. He might get a hold of one. 
Pop Lloyd on the auction house for 500k. Hold on, chat. I got to switch to my game. Oh, I don't have 500k. Rip. Pack opening is slow because everybody's probably doing them. Nobody wanted to wait to see who all the best cards were. Everyone just wanted to go rip packs. Trying to scoop the snag, which guess what? You can't. You can't scoop me. We're into the diamonds now. Into the diamonds chat. Newt Allen at second base. 64 contact, 56 cap power, 64 I, 64 avoid case. Good speed as well with the 72. Great defense at second base as well. Oh, baby. Got to pick up a nude Allen for second base. Lots of good. I, I really enjoy the set this year because I feel like one thing I felt like there wasn't a whole lot of last year was up the middle, like um, up the middle options. I mean, you had Wells and, and Lloyd and a couple other guys, but I feel like especially at second base this year, you're going to have a lot more options in the, in the Negro League set with, um, uh, With the 51 cards, uh, I definitely feel like you're going to have better options. You're going to have more playable. One thing a lot of people said last year was, um, mm, one thing I said they people said last year was, it, you know, they wanted to make a whole team of them, but there were some positions that were a little thin. Um, so, again, cranking up a little bit more with the infielders this year as well. Some people just don't learn, man. Some people just exist to ruin a nice thing, but you're not going to ruin my nice thing. You can be a dick in the chat all you want. It doesn't matter. We're all having fun. We're having a great time. Newt Allen in the game. Next up, Sam Jethro in center field. 81 contact, 83 gap power, 67 power overall. 69i, 70 avoid Ks. Uh, we also have pretty good speed as well with the 82 speed. Good defense. Could play the corners maybe a little better, although the corners with that 62 arm. Uh, corners with that 62 arm, maybe not the greatest. Uh, bunts himself a double. That's right. He gets the bunt down and then runs two bases. So another another very interesting card, a great option in center field, low diamond, a very very good low diamond option for sure. Um, very intriguing. Again, like a lot of these cards, does a lot of things well. Uh, should be a lot of fun um, to use this. Where are we? We are here. Next up, we've got Louis Santop. Another uh, another behind the plate option. 84 contact, 59 gap power, 80 power, 40 I, 77 avoid Ks, uh, 45 speed, a pretty good defense as well uh, with 72 familiarity, 90 ability, 73 arm. Mm. That arm doesn't cut it for me. I'm more of a, a big arm guy behind the plate. That's just kind of how I roll, especially later in the game. I bought this off the auction house. <laughs> Nick's already Nick's already out there working the auction house trying to pick up some of these cards. Like, oh, okay, we got to work the auction house a little bit here, guys. Uh, so, again, another interesting option behind the plate. Uh, so, what's that? Now, we have, like, five catchers, I think, this year, which is great. Which is great, great, great. Uh, Nick, that bought, Nick bought that for me on the auction house. Making dreams happen. Uh, next up, we've got Jose Mendez, 92 overall, Jose Mendez, uh, blow to crab. Yes, there was a Josh Gibbs. And so if you played perfect team 20, all of the Negro leaguers who were in perfect team 20 are back in perfect team 21. That was the first half of the stream. Now we're into the, the new guys who are new to perfect team 21. Uh, there is Mendez and then there is six more after this. Um, that we have to take a look at. Uh, 92 stuff, 77 movement, 66 control, fastball, curveball, slider, change up, splitter, 102 stamina as well. Very nice. 
on the Jose Mendes. Now, one thing that another, not a complaint, but um, not a complaint, but something that a lot of people mentioned last year was, and I addressed this when we did the Negro League stream last year. I remember doing it is when we did the Negro League stream last year, we focused, the majority of our energy was focused on Negro League players. Players who were famous for being in the Negro Leagues that didn't go necessarily to Major League Baseball. There was a couple of exceptions, like with Satchel Page, but arguably Satchel Page uh, was way, way more famous for what he did in the Negro Leagues than he ever was in Major League Baseball. Um, but we decided this year that it's the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues. So there's really no reason not to honor some of the guys who made their name in the Negro Leagues and then went on to very solid Major League Baseball careers. We've got a few of them. First up, Larry Doby. Larry Doby, again, was was some someone that people uh, said was, was a notable omission Last year, 90 contact, 75 gap power, 98 power overall, 71i, 74 avoid Ks, uh, can play second base, left field, center field a little bit, right field. Again, he's got a good enough arm with the 84 um, to play in the corner outfields for sure. Larry Doby, uh, if I remember correctly, Doby was the first American League, uh, first Negro to play in the American League because Brooklyn was in the National League. I believe that's how it works. Um, I love Doby. He he was yeah, for, yeah first that's right. He was the first uh, black player in the American League. That's right. I thought I was pretty sure that was right. Doby on the auction house. <laughs> God, crazy. Oh crazy. So there you go, Larry Doby in the game. Let's move back. Now to Frank Grant, another great Keystone player, 77 contact, 74 gap power, 80 power overall, uh, 73 avoid case, 70 speed, 96 defense at second base, uh, 85 range, 83 air, 63 arms, 79 turn double play. A again, a very solid, well-rounded second baseman here. Contact power, avoid case, good speed, good defense. Um. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Uh, thanks, Dish. Uh, I'll make a note. I have a couple notes here that I've been uh finding. All you people out there buying packs are gonna be awfully disappointed. Thanks, Dish. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, but next up, we honor another major leaguer who got his start in the Negro Leagues, and that is catcher Roy Campanella. 81 contact, 64 gap power, 95 power, 70 I, 57 avoid Ks, 87 defense uh, behind the plate. Um, again, the behind the plate options in the Negro Leaguers. Um, Great, great, greatly souped up this year. Again, Campanella got his start in the Negro Leagues in the mid to late 40s. And then after the barrier was broken, he wasn't long um, going to the Dodgers after Jackie. Uh, and again, went on to have an amazing, amazing um, major league career as well. Another guy who had an amazing, amazing major league career, and that is Monty Irvin who had an amazing career with the Giants and had a, a very good start in the Negro Leagues as well. 96 contacts, 68 gap power, 107 power overall, beaten up on righties with the 112, 73 I, 51 avoid Ks, 87 defense um, in left field. Why read all the ratings out loud? Um... Uh, because some people, some people don't look, some people just listen. 
I could probably not read the ratings out, but some people just some people just listen and they don't necessarily watch, so <clears throat> I think we tried we tried it on a stream last year where I didn't read out all the ratings and I had like fifteen complaints saying um saying that they didn't enjoy it because they don't necessarily watch. They have it on kind of as audio. Maybe they're working or something like that. So they're listening to it. Same thing with the YouTube archive, right? A lot of people watch YouTube uh, just for the audio. They don't necessarily watch the video part. So That's fine. You tune out when I'm reading them. That That's up to you. It's all good. Yeah, I don't mind reading them. Uh, so Monty Irvin got some good defensive rating as well. Um, why are you typing words in the chat? I got to look up. <laughs> Making me do homework after this. I got to write that down now. Um, so there you go, Monty Irvin. Uh, so last but not least is the reason why we're all here. Uh, the reason why that April 15th is such a monumental day in baseball history, the reason why every year on April 15th, all of Major League Baseball, where's the number 42? Uh, I don't think, I think people knew as soon as we said what the theme was, they had uh, a pretty general idea of where we were going with it. Uh, so I give to you uh, the pullable headliner, Mr. Jackie Robinson. A 100 perfect card, 92 contact, 78 gap power, 78 power overall, 96 I, 91 avoid Ks, 90 stealing, or 90 speed, sorry. Amazing defense at second base and shortstop. Uh, again, uh, what else do you do with a Jackie Robinson card? Re- like, really, really, what else do you do with a Jackie Robinson card but but do this? I mean, the guy ha- ha- he literally changed the world, um, changed sports forever. Again, there, there's a reason why 70-some years later, we st- we still honor him every year. Um, for sure. Uh, but wait, there's more. So we had a discussion about what we wanted to do. So we're at 50 cards. The Negro League, pullable, base set, 50 cards. We've reviewed them all, but there's more. Because we had the discussion, well, do we want to have a collection? And we kind of started thinking, okay, like, how do we want to handle this? Because for us, for us, we thought, like, the Negro League cards are so cool. We want people to have them. We want people to have access to them. We want people to be able to get in there and get them and enjoy them. And we thought, okay, well, this is all surrounded around Jackie Robinson. So we thought, well, pullable Jackie is a 100, and he's a perfect. He's going to be hard to find. He's going to be uh, very expensive. So we thought, why not give people another way to get a perfect Jackie? So I mentioned that there would be a collection. So you have 100 overall pullable Jackie Robinson in packs. You can find him. Oh, thank you, Sporer. Thank you. Uh, (sighs) So we have pullable Jackie Robinson. And we have special edition (laughs) Jackie Robinson. So not only, so you you have two ways to get Jackie Robinson. You can do a collection, which does not require all the cards. 
I will tell you that right now. You do not need to have all the cards to get this Jackie. Okay? This, the collection will not require all the cards. The collection, if you put the time and effort in, is very completable. So if you're not lucky enough to pack a 100 Jackie Robinson, you have the special edition, number 42. Oh, this one is a little bit better, as we do with all of our special editions. Um, if, as you do with all the special editions, uh, we, they're a little bit cranked up. 100, con- 101 contact, 91 gap power, 85 power, um, 102i, 95, avoid Ks, 100 speed, 118 defense at second, uh, 103. This is the first card to ever have a number on it, and the only card that will ever have a number on it. It was a Daniel Touch. I didn't notice it till I got it today. And I loved it the minute I saw it. Um, Unbelievable card. But wait! There's more. That's not all, folks. Now, again, here's the thing. I know that everybody wants to go... And, and people have been pulling packs for hours. You know, it happens. But to try and ease along the potential of you getting one of these cards. Wait, one second. I might have the slides in the wrong order. I do. Okay, one sec, chat. There we go. So to ease, to ease the way to get these cards, starting tomorrow, historical packs are coming back, effective tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., the same time the collection goes live. You'll be able to pick up historical packs which again, same as last year, are 10K. They guarantee a gold historical card and all of the cards in the pack are historical. So six historical cards, one of them is a gold. They will be 10K. Um, Again, they are slated for release tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time, the same time as the collection will go live in the game. Historical packs, they're only available for 72 hours. So there will be no, they'll be available from tomorrow at 10 a.m. until uh, Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. You have 72 hours to use them up. Uh, get in there. I know the historical pack, I like the yellow. The yellow this year is, uh, it pops for me. Yellow, yellow pops for sure. Folks, there you have it. I have been hyping this setup for a couple of weeks. Um, I hope, uh, based on the little bit I've been able to see through the chat, uh, I, it seems like you guys enjoyed it. Um, I I know I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than last year. We put more effort. We put more research. Um, again, biggest set we've ever done. 51 cards. Uh, it's the best set we've ever done. We've got four perfects. We've got rows of diamonds. This is a part of baseball history that for the most part is poorly documented, is, you know, has been picked up in pieces and, you know, is, is such an unknown and is such a, is such a monumental, like, project to try to get, j- dive into and see what happened. I wish, I wish you guys could have been there with me last year in Cleveland when I went into the Negro League Museum exhibit at the All-Star Game and, and saw, like after doing the content, and saw Josh Gibson's jersey, Satchel Paige's jersey, pictures of players that I had researched and that were on my perfect team. And like it made it all come full circle so, like, it was a no-brainer that we were going to do it again. 
the only discussion that we ever had was how can we do it bigger, better? It's the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues. Um, these cards are available in packs now with the exception of the Jackie Robinson special edition at the top, which will be available via a collection that will be added tomorrow. Um, again, around 10 a.m. Eastern, the same time that the historical packs will go live. We'll tweet that all out. We'll get it in the Discord, get it on the forums. We'll make sure we have it on all of our social medias when they're live, when you're in there. There's no limit to how many you can can be pulled or bought or whatever. So uh, if you don't get it right at 10 a.m., don't worry. We're not going to run out of them. Um, guys, I put that video together earlier today. If you guys did, if you guys missed the video at the beginning of the stream, I tweeted out earlier today. Um, no, we're not. Do, there'd be no. Sorry, we're not doing a perfect point sale this weekend. Um, if you guys missed earlier today, I tweeted out that I had put together what I felt was the was the most the best thing I've ever done, and never hurts to ask. Question asked, question answered. Not a big deal. No, the, yeah, the. These cards are all in regular packs now, regular packs, gold packs. If you want to wait for the historical packs, you got to wait for them for uh, tomorrow. But that video that I put together at the beginning of the stream, I'll play it again uh, at the end of the stream for those of you guys who want to watch it. Um, if you weren't here at the beginning, uh, it, it, it to me is how passionate I am about this. I'm glad you guys were here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the stream, same as last year, Dish 10K. Um, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that follow button up at the top of the screen. Um, and because uh, we have lots of great stuff happening on the channel all the time, chat. Every night of the week now, pretty much. Yeah, seven days a week, I think we've got something going on here. Uh, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash OTV Baseball. Uh, Twitter.com slash OTV Baseball. Twitter.com slash OTV Perfect Team uh discord.gg slash otp forums at otpdevelopments.com guys if you have not picked up your copy of out of the park baseball yet make sure you guys head over to otpdevelopments.com check it out you can buy it on steam as well the mac app store all kinds of fun places this was a lot of fun guys and a very emotional uh experience for me i'm gonna get on out of here uh, i will roll the the intro video at the end Guys, thank you guys so much for supporting the stream, for supporting what we do. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys pull all these cards. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as always, I have been Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences. Baseball, America's pastime, an ingrained part of our culture enjoyed by millions every summer. Baseball has given us highs and lows, heroes and villains, legendary moments that we'll never forget. Baseball is revered as a sport that brings people of all faiths, creeds, and races together. But that wasn't always the case. In the late 1800s and into the 1900s, a racism-fueled color barrier existed in baseball, preventing African-American players from being part of Major League Baseball teams forcing them to organize teams and leagues comprising of other Negro players and some Latin American players as well. 100 years ago this year, in February of 1920, Rube Foster, a former star pitcher, manager, and owner across multiple Negro teams, was able to put all the players and pieces together to form the first African-American Major League, the Negro National League, and the accompanying National Association of Colored Professional Baseball Clubs. Over the next 30 years, the Negro Leagues took on many shapes and sizes. Teams came and went. Some form of a Negro World Series was played 11 times. Stats and records for most of these leagues were lost or only ever partially recovered. In the mid-1940s, a small segment of Major League Baseball's hierarchy worked to integrate black players into what they perceived was the world's best baseball league. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking the color barrier and paving the way for every future African-American player to play Major League Baseball. Because of this, every year on April 15th, MLB honors Jackie Robinson by having each and every player wear his number 42 in memory of the challenges and prejudices he overcame 
in the continued battle against them today. And it's in the name of baseball history and the story of African American baseball that we are very proud to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues by bringing to you our Perfect Team 21 Negro League Collection. 